The Industrial Revolution marked a period of wealth and success for many entrepreneurs in the late 18th century and throughout the first half of the 19th century. John W. Wheeler and his wife Elmira were among those elites who generated their wealth from their sewing machine business. Constructed in 1903 as a private residence for the Wheelers in Orange, Massachusetts, the Wheeler Mansion was a direct reflection of their wealth and the talk of the town. A three-story, 15,000 square foot home. In 1910, however, John Wheeler died inside the mansion. He deeded his home to the Order of the Eastern Star, a Masonic adoptant body open to both men and women. In 1925, the mansion was converted into a rest home for the ladies of the Order of the Eastern Star. The facility operated as a final residence for the ladies, all whom were members of the Masonic organization and said to have surrendered their wealth to the OES in exchange for their comfort and care in their last days. The Eastern Star home closes doors in 1990 after 65 years of operation. The property was sold and once again used as a private residence with the intention of turning it into a bed and breakfast. However, financial setbacks forced the property into foreclosure in 2015. For the next five years, the mansion stood abandoned, decaying due to severe damage from leaking roof and busted pipes. It even was growing a tree inside one of the rooms. Luckily, this historic home is about to get a boost from a modern age. On June 17th, 2020, Cynthia Butler had bought the mansion. She moved to Orange with her family, eager to take on the daunting challenge of saving the mansion and bringing it back to life. Restoring the home's structural integrity and preserving its stunning original details are pr prominent to the transformation of the Wheeler Mansion. Over the years, Cynthia has done an amazing job putting in hard work, restoring the mansion, and giving it a new identity. As of April 1st, 2024, the Wheeler Mansion will be open as a bed and breakfast. If you are brave enough to stay there, it is said that the spirits of John Wheeler and the ladies of the Order of the Eastern Star still roam the halls, and if you're lucky, maybe you could get a glimpse of some of the Wheeler Mansion's old residence.